In this video, I'm going to show you a couple things. Uh, this emergency escape window, um, how to open it and get out if there was an emergency, a fire or something. Um, I had just so you know, I had a this this exit sign that was up here just fell off. It was glued on the window. I cleaned the window up and I bought a new sticker that I'm going to put on there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to go over the smoke alarm and the fire extinguisher for you. So I hope this is helpful. I'm going to go ahead and put my sticker on. And um, then I got the window all cleaned up first with the denatured alcohol. So it'll stick real well. So I'll be back in a minute. So this is our trailer. We have a couch that folds down, a Murphy bed that pulls down over the couch. And then here's the entrance to the trailer, our kitchen area, slide out with a dinette. This is a Rockwood Mini Light 2504S 2017. So the overall length of the trailer is roughly 26 feet. The bathroom's back here, refrigerator, TV. So back here we have bunks and then the escape window is here in the lower bunk. So if there was an emergency and there was family in the back here, there's an upper bunk and this area is on fire and there was no way to get out this way, then you would go out this exit here. So to get this, off here's the screen pull this tab the screen screen comes off i'm going to set it out of the way but in an emergency you'd be throwing things then this red tab here handle just pull it out like that slide it out and it there it just hangs like that if you wanted to have air come in, circulate in your trailer. Um, but in an emergency, this pulls all the way out. And this is probably a lot of fun to get out of an emergency, but I'm sure you would have no problem getting out of it. So I'll go outside and show you how far this flips up. But uh, there's a pretty good drop there. So I think what you would do is probably lay on your stomach and flip your legs out the edge and go out. You probably want to lay a towel if you can, or a blanket if you have something here, sheets. Just throw it on top here so you don't get all scraped up going out. If there's two people, one can hold it open and one go out. And then the other guy that goes out, or girl, they can hold it up for the next person that goes out. So I'm gonna go outside and show you how far this will flip up to get out. Here we are outside. I'm just gonna show you how far this will flip up in the air to get out. So I'll go all the way up to about 90 degrees there to get out. Yeah, that's probably a five foot, four and a half, five foot drop there. So I, I've seen some people say that some windows, when you open it up, the whole window will fall to the ground, which this one is hinged, and I don't see that happening on this one. So I'm not sure if that's false information or not uh, that I've read other people mention. I haven't actually seen any videos of it doing that, so that's why I want to show you how this one opens and let you know it'd be safe to open it and the window won't fall down. So let's go inside and I'll show you the smoke alarm. The smoke alarm is just like a house smoke alarm where you need to change the battery in it. To do that, you just flip this open, take the battery out, put it in. What I do is I just change it once a year, the beginning of the year, the same time I change our household batteries. And then it says here, uh, 
Make sure you test the smoke alarm every time you take it out of storage or before each trip and at least once per week. So to test it, just to make sure it works, you just hit the button and it beeps. Makes the same sound as um, when you're cooking and it goes off. We have a little tip here for our cooking. We just take this. This came off of a household smoke alarm when we bought it. It's almost like a old bathing cap. Put it over it so it doesn't get any smoke on it to go off. So something like this. So if you ever replace a smoke alarm in a house, um, these usually come with them. So just keep it. And then, um, and when we cook, we always, we open a window. Then we have an exhaust fan that uh, we turn on to circulate the air across the room and out while we're cooking and turn the fan on. So the smoke alarm doesn't go off on us. So going down here to the fire extinguisher, these are small fire extinguishers. And uh, I'm sure they would run out very quickly. We carry one in our truck also. I actually have two in our pickup if I ever need one. But this one here is located by the front door and by the um, bed here. And then back there is the bunks if you remember. So if you have a fire, you'd have to grab it here and then go over here and try and put the fire out. If my kids were back in there, I'd be wanting to try and get back to them and uh, have to try and fight the fire if I can. If not, I'm gonna have to go around the other side and hopefully they'll remember how to open the the window to get out if not i'm going to go over there and bust that window out from the outside but these these are it's, it's important if you ever use a fire extinguisher it's i'll take this off to to operate it on this one anyways pull a pin on almost every fire extinguisher there's a pin pull it hold it like that and push down and then sweep on the fire. It says to stay about six feet away and keep it pointed towards the base of the fire. You don't want to spray it above the fire because it will make the fire just shoot out the sides of the area you're spraying. So make sure you do that. You need to test this every once in a while. This one has a button on it. You just push the button and if it pops back up, it's still pressurized. If it doesn't pop back up, then it's not pressurized and it's you need to replace it. So anyway, thanks for watching everybody. I hope this has been a little bit helpful to you. And um, I'll put a link in the description below of that sticker that I used to uh, replace on the window here. It's actually a nice quality sticker. It's nice and thick. So thanks for watching, everybody. Happy camping. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Or thumbs down. Feel free to leave comments or ask questions if you'd like. And if you can, I'd appreciate it if you can subscribe. For future um, YouTube videos I put out, I have roughly 60 of them out there that might be helpful to you in some way. So thanks a lot. Happy camping, everybody, and take care.